Remember, the S&P has been up seven days in a row. We haven't done that since, what, October 2017? And we're only nine points down right now. VIX closed on Friday. It was the lowest close of the year. It's up a little. We're sitting around 13 here. But uh, just bear in mind how calm things uh, have been. Take a look at sectors. And yes, it's the industrials that are sort of weighing on the Dow generically. Uh, Boeing's 100 points of the Dow, essentially. What are we down? 13 points uh, on Boeing right now. So you got United Technologies, uh, 3M uh, moving to the downside, as you can see there. Uh, Caterpillar, all of them down. Again, 16 points now. You got That's 102 points there, there for the Dow Jones industrial average. In terms of sectors, uh, oil, $63. So that's going to push energy stocks up. We're near some new highs for some of those names. Consumer staples, more defensive. REIT's doing better. You see Jets, that's the, uh, the airline ETF. That's down on the Boeing story. Semiconductors, a big, big market ship leader group. This is not a big day for the market leadership uh, today. The semiconductors moving to the downside. A lot of IPO news out of the weekend. The guys mentioned some of these things. I think it's fantastic what happened with printers over the weekend. 75 million shares at 15 to 17. Okay, let's take 17. Let's take the high end. The market cap is 9 billion. I'm using simple market cap, which is what we like to use here. Uh, prior round of funding was 12 billion. In other words, they've lowered the price a little bit. I think this is fantastic. The, Pinterest got the message from Lyft. Those people buying Pinterest now are going to buy it at a lower price than they might have even a week or so ago. I think that's good news, and I think it's further evidence that the private market's a little more frothy than the public market, and the public market will push back a little bit. Now, Pinterest is an interesting company. They still lose money. I made $756 million uh, last year in revenues. They had lost 63, but that's a pretty narrow loss, and they did make money in the fourth quarter. So there's at least some path to profitability here, but the most exciting thing about it is just the pricing now. Maybe you'll get a little less drama with Pinterest than you did with Lyft. By the way, there have been eight companies that have gone public since the Levi Strauss IPO. I sort of count that as the opening of the market. And by and large, most of them have done pretty well. Silk Road Medical, Trade Web up 31%. Levi Strauss is still up 28%. No drama with that one. It was quietly nice valuation. People thought it was reasonably priced. It was famous. Gen Fitz up 16%. A few of them are not. Uh, Lyft is still uh, struggling right around there. But Precision Bio is down a little bit. NGM. Uh, Rune Holding is down 32%. That's sort of the only one out there that hasn't done well in the last several weeks. As for Lyft, uh, remember priced at 72, went all the way up into the high 80s, uh, still struggling there. But it is above. That's the last price of $73. We're going to get some uh, big cybersecurity firms out here this, uh, this week here. Uh, Page Duty and uh, Jamia Technologies. Talk a little bit more about them in the next day or two. But they're pretty big deals as well. And a lot of demand for cybersecurity. We're just off the lows here, Carl, down 154 points.